I was sitting alone, lacing my fingers between ribbons of wet grass when you came over. We sat with the sunrise and felt its rays cut out our shadows and stick them to red brick walls. Stayed up and watched the bin men in their green overalls smelt that rough raw tanginess and talked about the stench we'd leave in each other's lives. Two years later, clothes carpet the floor and we lay stripped together but never naked. Not really. I'll remind you of that moment you made on the river. The one that even the boats were grateful for, where the orange lamplight trickled into the water and the moon was playing shy behind an indigo duvet. That night could have been a Van Gogh painting. Silently disturbed like we are now. Witnessing a man playing his anger and sadness on a gold piano as if no one else can hear the pain. And wishing we could all go back to being children again. Before thinking became something we wished we could stop doing. Before acting with feeling was named too impulsive. Before speaking with your heart on your tongue was dubbed irresponsible and okay. One day you might hear this. But I'm not considering the long run because we're still young. And if we could just build our foundations from the depths of the earth up, then we could start again by just scraping the surface. We could have fun. Because we already know one another's cause. And flaws. Already know we're insecure just like everybody else. Listen. We both know that crisps aren't 20p anymore. And hopscotch isn't chalked onto the floors anymore. But those naughty pictures hidden in your room still exist. And Janet from next door's figure will always be a perfect sphere. The only difference is you don't need to look for things to blow up or dissect anymore. Or be scared of letting yourself fall anymore. Because I'm more naked than you are now, even though we're both fully clothed. So let's just take our sleeping bags and slide down the stairs and remember what it's like to feel careless. Even if it means we get a few bruises. Because we'd rather that than our skin show no proof that we've been living. Right?